guys, it's Hannah, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. So fall is coming up in like 20 days, which makes me very, very excited because fall is probably my favorite season other than spring. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for fall and winter to be coming. And today I'm going to be telling you guys what we need to do to prepare our horses for fall and winter. Just keep in mind, if you live up north, you're probably going to have to um, do some extra things. But this is just what I do to get blue jeans and Levi ready for winter, or fall and winter. So yeah, and if you guys enjoy this video, um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you guys can see future videos of mine. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. So the biggest thing that we are going to have to worry about is our horse is maintaining a comfortable body temperature which your horse is already going to be getting in its winter coat but if you have an older horse or a horse that is underweight it is going to be harder for them to uh, maintain a comfortable body temperature so if you have a horse that's older or underweight you are definitely going to have to keep a closer eye on them because um they can't stay warm as easily as like a quarter horse that is really easy to put weight on. So yeah, but basically they will have their winter coat, so that's good. And you wanna make sure they stay dry. You don't want them to be wet. And then you also need to make sure that they are taking in extra fat and extra calories because fat equals warmth. Um, so they are going to be needing a fat supplement or extra hay. And extra hay I feel like is really important um, in the winter time, I give my horses extra hay because um, it's good for them to build up fat to keep them warm, but also the grass quits growing um, in the fall and winter, so you need something for them to forage on. So spreading it around the property, like around your pastures or whatever, is really good for them to be able to forage um, for their food because, you know, they're a grazing animal, so if there's no grass, it's really good to like scatter like flakes everywhere so they are still able to forage um, but it's also very good for them to build up fat. The next thing is they need somewhere to get out of the wind and the cold weather so you are going to need some type of shelter um, or like a barn where they can get in a stall. I'm against keeping horses in stalls all the time but um, I do really find them useful in the fall and winter because when it's really cold outside it's really good for them to have a stall to go in and keep them in at night um, or just keep them open all the time where they can go in to get out of the weather in the wind. So yeah they're going to need something with at least three sides to it to kind of get them out of the cold weather. The next thing is a blanket and some people blanket their horses and some people don't. Um, if, you, if it doesn't get really, really cold, you probably won't have to blanket your horse unless it's an older horse or a horse that is underweight. But if you have, you know, a young horse that has a very, very good winter coat, he might not need a blanket depending on the temperature. I say if it gets below maybe 30 degrees Fahrenheit, I might put a blanket on. Not a really heavy blanket, but, you know, a decent blanket, maybe even under 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so yeah, but 30 degrees Fahrenheit for us is pretty cold. Um, so yeah, but if you live up north, I'm sure like if it gets below zero, <laughs> I would definitely use a blanket. Um, so yeah, but you're going to need a blanket um, if it gets really cold, um, but they are really good to have on hand. The last thing um, is to provide salt somehow for your horses because in the winter time, the fall and winter time, um, your horse can colic very easily from dehydration because horses are constantly drinking, especially in the spring and summertime. But in the fall and winter, they don't really have the desire to go and drink water as much as in the spring and summer because they aren't sweating and they aren't really hot. So um, in the fall and winter, we need to encourage them to drink more water so they don't get dehydrated and colic. Um, so yeah, but definitely provide salt in some way. The easiest way I have found for my horses is to provide a salt block in their pasture by their water trough. Um, but if your horse, if you notice that your horse is not licking on the salt block at all, you can also put some table salt in their feed as well. 
and that will encourage them to go and drink water. So yeah, that's what I do to prepare for fall and winter. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and all of that good stuff. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.